what's up racers racer beast here and welcome back to another csr2 video now i am here with the pini farina batista and in this video i am going to show you a good low performance point high evo live racing setup tune and shift pattern for this car okay now with this particular setup you will be able to win most of the live races uh, unless you go up against something monstrous like uh, the conex exesco apart from that i think you will be able to win um you know most of your races so uh without further ado let's get into the setup for this car um now as far as the upgrades go um i have motor at stage 1 uh no battery no inverter both of these are at stage 0 they are at stock um overboost is at stage 4 um body tires and transmission are all at stage 5 so for this particular setup you don't need any stage 6 upgrades okay now with this setup uh my performance points are 666 and evo points are 1827 so this is a good low performance point high evo setup for this car okay now with that being said um let's get into the tuning for the same um now overboost Uh, all the way maxed to the right um final drive at 2.59 and tire pressure at 8 psi okay so this gives me a dyno of 10.304 so this setup is aimed for targeting 10.32 to 10.6 lobby now in addition to having a low performance point high evo setup this car can also be did 10.3 dyno uh, using the shift pattern that i'm going to show you in some time but keep in mind when you are live racing uh, you need not beat dyno all the time you have a low performance point high evo setup here which means that you anyways have a lobby advantage over a lot of your opponents uh, so you will be paired with opponents that are that will be running way slower than you so you need not beat dyno all the time uh, try to slow down as much as you can and still win those live races okay um otherwise you will end up getting bumped up into higher lobbies and uh, you know therefore losing your lobby advantage that you had uh, initially to start with so if you want to maintain that lobby advantage try not to beat dino by a huge margin so um with that being said uh, let me show you the shift pattern uh, for this car let's do a test run here we go So the shift pattern for this one is pretty easy. Uh, there is going to be a needle drop after which you need to immediately hit the nitrous, and uh, rest can be either good or perfect shifts. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's see how much we run there. 10.267 with a dyno of 10.304 so this car does beat dyno with this setup but keep in mind uh, as i said before you don't need to beat dyno in live races um unless you need it uh, because uh, since you have a lobby advantage with low performance point high evo setup if you uh, beat dyno in each and every race then you will end up getting bumped up okay and you will end up losing your lobby advantage so keep that in mind um and with that out of the way i am going to show you a few live races that are run with this car uh, i am going to stop my commentary here so enjoy the live races guys with that being said this is race beast signing off see you in another video bye Like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is painful. All is said and done. Oh, I am restricted, fixed upon the web. I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in. Break out! I've got to see. Spent all my life holding all of.
waited, that's what you assumed The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted, watching where I step still Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live